Here we have another review. This time we have Avia C2 from Special Hobby. That's Czech company as far as I remember. And that's the 70 second scale kit, quite fresh. It was presented on the E-Day and now we have it for the review. As you can see here we have uh, special edition, I mean, let's say not special, but the edition which is ded dedicated to the Czech Air Forces. And style of the box is quite typical for the special hobby. On the side there is nothing interesting and on the back we have three marking options which are available in this kit, as you can see here. So that's the side opening box. It's quite interesting release because uh, a bit later we will have the same model from the covers of the Prostev, so it would be quite interesting to compare them together. So we have plenty of parts inside of the plastic bag. Let's open it and check what's inside. Okay. Plenty of bonuses as you can see, but we will begin from the plastic as usual. So we have here a uh, first sprue which contains various parts and main are physio -ish halves as you can see. Molding quality is quite okay, I mean we have the smooth surface, uh, quite thin attachment points and what else? I mean, no flash at all no molding damage and as you can see for example here a rudder is molded separately even for more realistic uh, view and here is interesting approach of the co uh, on those cooling parts as you can see engine is molded like engine habitation is molded separately from the front cooling part and you won't have to deal with the seams on this segment here is the rudder uh, you can also notice some cockpit parts here Let's flip over the sprue and inside we find this um, quite a modest cockpit imitation but still really nice for the scale. I'm a bit surprised by these push rods but nevertheless they won't be seen in the assembled model. So that's all for this sprue. Next sprue contains other important parts and obviously those are wings. Wings are molded quite nicely. I mean we have those recessed panel lines as you can see on the light. Uh, of course ailerons and flaps are molded in but I mean they look also quite convincing. Uh, we have a propeller with separately molded blades. We have here landing gear legs and here is the top wing halves which are molded approximately in the same quality as bottom one. Here is a part for the wheel wheels. This part is quite famous because in the manual it's shown, like installation is shown in wrong position, so be careful. And what else? Here is empty space. <laughs> quite interesting. Flip over, and again we have these push rods, which can be a problem during installation because of the fitment. And as far as I can guess, there is almost no. Uh, wheel wells detailization. We will see it further in the review. Then we have plenty of resin parts. Um, those replicate like really minor parts, but still really interesting to see such inclusion into this kit. Just give me a moment. Okay, so here we have. I suppose those are two types of propeller hubs. As you can see both are made from the resin and both would feature plastic blades. But otherwise molding quality is quite nice and I think it should do good on the assembled model. Then we have some, I can guess those are external parts, these are P ones. And again, quite accurate molding, quite nice. Wheels are also supplied in resin form, oh, we didn't see them in the plastic. And quite convincing parts, I mean there is replicated tire pattern and even hubs look really good. Yeah, 
Even though I don't see any writing on the tire walls, but I mean, that would be too much for the 70 second scale. Uh, then we have quite small parts to replicate gun barrel and some other minor elements, as well as those bombs. Also resin. And there is another part, I don't know what it would be used for. We would see it further in the review. Really nice. Okay. Then we have separate effect uh, canopy. Canopy is quite, I would say, it's disappointment from one side because it's molded as a single part. But the molding quality of this part is really perfect. Oh, you can see it here. It's glass like clear part and it looks really good. It's a pity that it's molded only as a single part. I mean, model would benefit from the open cockpit. And you would see now why, because manufacturer included not only resin parts for this model, but also P parts. Okay, we will begin from the special film, which can be used to replicate dials on the dashboard. And then we have P parts, which as you can see are unpainted and you would have to paint them by yourself. Two sets of belts, dashboards, everything for the cockpit and some minor external parts. Then we have decals. Decals are printed by Aviprint and quality is quite nice as you can see. All symbols are sharp, colors are bright and everything looks really nice. And last but not the least we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is done in the similar fashion to other special hobby kits which we saw before. As you can see on the front page there is histories and there is parts map and assembly begins. Nothing special, I think it won't be hard to assemble this model. Ah, as you can see there will be parts for the wheel wheels. And then there are separate guides for the marking options. And here are some models which are produced by the special hobby. 70 second scale models, by the way. This one is also new release. So, I think that's pretty much all for about this kit. And I would like to recommend you to check full article review uh, on our website. And Thanks for watching this video and see you soon.